I'm going to ask for a motion from one of you kind members. I would like to have a motion to ask our select man representative, Regina Barnes, to go to her board and request from them a breakdown of the construction of the 2017 default budget and clarification on the gasoline and diesel charges that are contained and how many more special money articles are there going to be I guess we don't can't ask for the uh, names but we can certainly ask for the number uh, may I have someone move that request Madam Chair I would like to move uh Highways and streets for. Uh, but we need to get information, Mr. Jones. I'd like to, I'd like to not delay the DPW personnel here. I know. We want to deal with the administration aspects of the budget committee. This is after the, we're done uh, with the is, workshop. That's what I would like to do. This is the only. So, yes. I'll move your. Yes. Your thank you, Sonny. I'll second for open for, for discussion. Second for Mr. Pierce. Okay, you understand the intent. We're making a formal request for some information from the Board of Selectmen. Uh, in, in I don't think that request has been made historically because the Selectmen make up... I can't hear you, you know. You need to get near a microphone. It's hard to hear you guys. Okay. Uh, that information has never been requested before that I know of from the Budget Committee to the Board of Selectmen in relation to default budget. It's their responsibility to make the default budget right. put it together. And historically, what that really means is 2016's budget plus any contractual obligations. And we've seen proof of, of as we've been going along, that they've been bringing things over to the default budget that don't belong there as far as the statute's concerned. <clears throat> Unless we want to take them to court, I suggest we drop it. Well, you've asked for, you've been one of the individuals asking for clarification on how it was I, I did, but if they don't want to give it to us, which they made very clear last night, that's their prerogative. Okay. No, it isn't, frankly. RSA 32 colon 16, duties and authority of the budget committee. Roman 1, prepare the budget. Roman 2, confer with the governing body and with other officials, department heads, and, and other officials relative to estimated costs, revenues anticipated, and services performed to the extent deemed necessary by the Budget Committee. It shall be the duty of all such officers and other persons to furnish such pertinent information to the Budget Committee. The statute is very clear. Now, may I have, Mr. Kravitz has moved, have I a second on our request, which we should I'm not, not have to make? I have a question. I did second already for oh, discussion. Oh, you did. Mr. Pierce seconded. Sorry about that. You understand the intent. We're making a formal request in public to get some of the information that we felt we needed. In favor? No, because I don't know what information that you need. The budget, the default budget okay, is put here together. Okay, we go. By the Board of Selectmen. Okay, yeah, here you And go. here's the definition of the default budget if we want to quote RSAs. No, 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 no. We don't do the default budget, but we have questions on it. We're doing money here for the taxpayers. And the, please Madam pass, Chair, please let her speak. Please pass this down to Ms. Barnes for the I've read finance director mm -hmm. and the town manager. That's what clarification of the default budget looks like, and that's what we're looking for. Okay, and all of you who picked up your school binders last week saw what I have passed out now that the school automatically did for this committee. Okay, do we have any more discussion in favor of passing that motion along so that Regina can request in our behalf? Did you, did you finish your discussion? 
Well, I was going to clarify what the default budget is. As used in this subdivision means the amounts of the same appropriations as contained in the operating budget authorized for the previous year reduced and increased, as the case may be, by debt service, contracts, and other obligations previously incurred or mandated by law and reduced by one-time expenditures contained in the operating budget. For the purposes of this paragraph, one-time expenditures shall be appropriations not likely to recur in the succeeding budget as determined by the governing body. Mm -hmm. Okay? So yes. what is it that we're proving? That we asked we're the for clarification, did we not? Mr. We Pierce initially asked for clarification. Because there were because some items in the budget book that were the value was taken over from the uh, 17 budget and brought up from the 16 budget it shouldn't be there. And it's I, the I, same case in the school budget too if you look at it. I've already looked at it. Are they, but I'm just saying this. The town, when we've been going through this budget committee process so far, there's been many items that shouldn't be in the default budget and that's why we wanted to clarify it. How you come up with the budget, de default budget because mm -hmm. if something shouldn't be there in our opinion, or at least my opinion, and I'd like to know why you put it there. That's all I wanted from you. Yeah, we don't make the default budget. We don't want to make the default budget, but we do have a right to ask questions, at least, on how it was constructed. Well, since so we don't sit here all night, are you ready to vote on whether or not you want to request that information? Madam Chair. Yes, sir. Um, I think that uh, the information would be informative to have. Uh, there is also other information that is more germane to our work than this particular information. And obviously we have the capacity to overwhelm management with information requests if we choose to. Right? And we already have, you know, requests out there for an analysis on gasoline, for example, which is all over the place. We have requests relative to, you know, the, the IT audit report, which is coming out very soon, theoretically, and we have to analyze that. And there may be additional information requests there. There are lots of information that we're going to learn from DPW tonight, which may require follow-up. All in a very short span of time. Do we have time to really consume this, this uh, data on the default? And do we have, as town management, reasonably have the time to, to answer all of these requests? I'm very reticent to hold. I want the information, okay? You know I always like to talk about default budget, how it is not being used properly. But we are on a time schedule, as you yourself had pointed out, not of our own making, arguably, but we're on a short time schedule. I don't think it's wise, at least I'm not certain that it's wise, to try to shove this extra step, which we haven't done before, into the process that was already been truncated. Well, so told, my inclination is to not favor this. I was told that they require for their protocol an I official understand request that. That's always not to my their argument, representative. Though. I understand that, but it's not and, part of my consideration. And I have been trying to get information on the warrant article. We're aware of that. And the public's entitled to get this information. What, what, isn't that our job to do this? This has yeah, never. Not to. That's what I'm hearing. No. It's, our job no. is the budget committee this, is overlook things and make sure they're reasonable. And we've looked at some things that don't make sense. Well, this and is, we're asking for further identification and information. And I think that's fair and I think it's honest. But okay. we have said that we only have a short period of time. Isn't the budget committee's fault? Okay. If you had lost three meetings and you get squished, so do we just bow down and not do our job? I think we do our job the way it's supposed to be done. And whether it meets the time or whatever, we all work together as a town with the selectmen and with us. But I think we've asked for questions, and I've looked at some of these things, and something's 900%, some, some other 6.6%. Where did they come from? I've also looked at the school budget, and I got some figures on that one that all of a sudden they didn't appear to be, it doesn't make any sense. I thought our job was to oversee and work with the people and get an explanation of what these things are. Right, make and sure that's why reasonable. meetings but, ago, which you might not have been a member yet, I don't believe you were, I we established a plan, a way of communication that everything like Mary Louise is attempting to do right now come from the board, discussed at a meeting, agreed to by the board, for Mary Louise, through me, to get the information to the chairman of my board, the Board of Selectmen, for requests. So it's let's that do that. It's that simple. Are we exactly. Doing that? Okay, well, well, are, are Madam we... Chair, I, I have to respond to that. I do not recall, my memory's not perfect, but I do not recall this budget committee embracing such a protocol. We did it that night when you wanted the information on the IT audit. Yeah, for that particular 
information. What are we going to do? We did not every broadly. Time? We, last night at the board of selectmen's meeting, and again tonight, and you're, you're reiterating what was said there, is that oh, we, oh. as a budget committee, broadly adopted that protocol. And I'm saying, I don't recall. No, it. we did as a board of selectmen. No, there was the allegation, as you just suggested, that this committee adopted it as well. We never did, and we have that not. Well, that's all I'm saying on that so point. So why wouldn't you adopt that? We haven't. That's all I'm saying. It's just a simple fact. I'm not saying we should or shouldn't. Okay. Just saying we haven't. But but David, we should just get on to the public. It's very well taken. Yes. <laughs> but there is there is one okay. problem there, yeah. David, and that is we don't have any responsibility in the default budget itself. Correct. And this Great. request is entirely about the default budget. I think getting information about it would be very informative, but it's not it's not a bullseye target on our work, which is to produce that proposed budget. <coughs> and eventually, that's, we that's will what get I'm it. saying. I don't oppose getting the information, but I just don't think we have time to consume it properly anyway, and maybe time management is just going to be too busy answering other requests. No, no, no. First, okay. We need correct figures because we are working in behalf of the taxpayer's pocketbook here. And we need to know if the figure that goes on <coughs> as the alternative figure on the ballot is correct or not. It can make a big difference. Is the operating budget that we produce less than the default budget, or is it more? And that will affect how the voters vote. And I feel that under the statute, we have the ability to ask for anything that we need. In addition to that fact, I watched the selectmen's meeting last night doing something that should have been done in September doing a green run through the poor public works director's warrant articles. And I have been asking for the warrant articles or titles of the warrant articles, and I'm now asking for numbers of warrant articles because they haven't finished yet and it's the end of November. That's not part of this motion, is it? No. I ha we have stated the motion and that was made and seconded. But so Warren articles were not part of that motion, correct? No. no but all right, I just want to be sure we all know we're voting on. And well, Mr. Jones, I did send the Warren articles that were voted on by the board last night that were edited for the edits that we needed made you by Christina today. I sent them to you. I said that where? to you when you came in, to your email. When? At when I got them, 5.30 or something? I watched the meeting something. last night, and I got nothing. We're back no, to the topic of the motion in hand, Madam Chair. She had to, we had changes. Oh, I'm sure you did, and, and a lot of messed up money. Back to the okay. topic of the motion. May we, uh, may we call for a vote on whether or not we want to ask for uh, clarification of the default budget? I do not object to calling for a vote. That's what Are you in me. favor? Opposed? All right. Who's doing what here? I'm in favor. Okay. Favor. okay. Um, in favor, Pierce? Uh, I'm sorry, my dear. What are you voting on right now? The motion. The motion that was made on asking the uh, select man representative to go to her board in our behalf. Mr. Man. Pierce, Man. Uh, Mr. Kravitz, Mr. Henderson, um, Pluff, uh, Danielle Augustine, uh, Mr. Marrer, and Wolsey. Opposed? Uh, Barnes, Lapham, Ladd, and LaBranch. Okay. Thank you. I'm sure you will convey that uh, in our behalf, Regina. Thank you. Now. I didn't vote. So is that what oh, you didn't vote? Right. She's You're abstaining. You. Yes. If I one apologize. was asked, I would I be abstaining. Otherwise, Mr. I'd be not Mr. Jones is abstaining. <laughs> and not funny. Okay. I have a little humor well, there. It's Joe's perkiness. Now, there's no humor when you have stonewalling like this. <laughs> so am I going to get a formal request of what's actually being asked? <laughs> I mean, you guys are going. Through I this. showed you this sheet from the school board. What does this have to do with the board of selectmen? That was inside the front cover of our school budget. I mean, to show you that there is an entity in Hampton that actually informs the budget committee of how they crafted their default budget. I appreciate what SA United did for their budget. I am asking for whatever format you guys choose to explain to us how the 2017 town default budget has been crafted. We are welcoming Mr. Jacobs and Mrs. McGinnis in behalf of the Public Works Department 
come in before we move off that subject, I just want to add you know, Get near a microphone. The sound is bad when I listen to the reruns. I think when we were going through the budget, we made notes on some of those issues, and I would gladly prepare a list of what I think are, uh, from my point of view, mistakes in the default budget, and then we can submit that list, list to uh, Regina so she'll know specifically what we're talking about. Okay, I, I would, would like be, that. Okay, I'd I mean, be happy I, I, to have you do that if no one objects and if you are willing to do that in behalf of the committee, I would appreciate that. I can work on that tomorrow and possibly Thursday if we don't make me all poop tonight. Just, uh, <laughs> just, send, a, just send a copy to everybody. Okay.